Most people, when they think about disability, they think about the image of somebody who is off on their own, really disengaged from the world and not able to do anything. And it's true, disability has a, has a high cost to the individual and can take lots of things out of their life. What I want to talk to you about, though, is the real cost of disability to society and to workplaces. Lots of disability um, that we work with when people are away from the workplace for a period of time, we call that work disability if it's for health reasons. And lots of times when we meet with these individuals, we see disability that is unnecessary, that could have been prevented where that person didn't need to be disengaged from the workplace. And really to understand what the real true cost of disability, it's good to get inside that person's life and what they've lost and what it's cost them individually to be disengaged, to be away from their friends, to have the structure of their day taken away. For employers, the cost of disability is even easier to measure because there's real dollars and real figures that we have. We know. We know in Canada, for example, 7% of payroll costs is roughly the number that the average Canadian company can spend or attribute to needless mental health disability. So part of those costs are sick time and sick pay when you're having to pay for somebody when they're away from the workplace or replacement to pay sick pay to that individual to be away, and also the cost of presenta presenteeism. So when somebody is at the workplace, but they're just not contributing because they're not well. The good news is these costs of disability can be prevented, and um, the preventative costs can be used to apply and help, you know, employers can make a really big difference, reduce their costs of disability with some really simple things. Simple things like, have an awareness campaign in your workplace. What does mental health look like? What does mental ill health look like? Educate your frontline staff, everybody in your organization, so they can learn to care for each other. They can learn to identify and recognize when sometimes, let's face it, really crappy behavior is possibly a health issue that's starting to emerge. So there's clues out there. Teach your workforce how to recognize them. Teach your supervisors how to identify and recognize things that are going on with their um, people they're looking after, they're supervising, and when it's a performance problem and the person's been in your employ for a long time and they're not acting themselves, teach them skills to how to engage the conversation and help keep that person safe at work and productive. It's good for their health too.